How's it going, Teal Boys? It is here, week one of season three. We've got a game against NC State to kick things off this year. Uh, a conference season opener. Uh, you don't see that often, uh, but we are just jumping straight into the ACC, I guess. But before that, we have to quickly do something. I've mentioned it before. Uh, tier 2 and up members are able to change names for some of our recruits and two of our recruits uh, I guess they falsified some paperwork or something because uh, Their names are going to have to be changed. Maybe it's a witness protection thing. The first one the right end freshman Ashton Keith Will now be going by the name Durham Finch uh, and We're gonna change his number as well. We were thinking something in the 90s, but there's none available so we're going to go with that double digits, the 7-7. Seven, seven. And Ashton is now Durham. And our new outside linebacker, Neil Boone. He's going to be going by the name Kale Mackey. And he's going to, uh, I don't know, maybe look a little bit cooler. So with the new freshman renamed with their paperwork up to date. Let's go ahead and take a look at ESPN. We didn't do this last time, so we'll go through some preseason polls. Uh, take a look at where some teams are sitting. Michigan starting at that number one spot. They have a game against Oregon State. Uh, Michigan, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, Auburn is our top five with Iowa State, Florida, USC, Miami, and Clemson rounding out the top ten. Kind of crazy that Miami won the natty. There's only a 91 overall and is uh, going to be ranked ninth to start this year. Scroll down to see how far down we are. I think we might be in the 40s overall. No, 32. That's not bad. We are now, I guess we can see, an 83 overall with an 86 offense and an 80 defense. I'm going to be honest. I can't really think of how that compares to last year. I feel like we were very similar. Were we 81 overall or 83? We were we were a B- minus team. Uh, our special teams is a D- minus apparently, which is pretty rough. But overall, I think that we might see some improvement. And we'll go ahead and take a look to see uh, preseason All-Americans. We actually have some guys. Wow, Joel Hall, preseason first-team All-NCA. So, so is Mason Shelton, our middle linebacker. And although he's not returning kicks this year, Aaron Diggs is the preseason All-NCA return man. And we don't have any second-team players, but we should have some. I just by instinct went to All-Sun Belt, but we should have some All-ACC players, including... Grayson McCall, supposedly they think he's going to be the best quarterback in the conference as we've just moved up. Joel and Mason, of course, are there. And I imagine Aaron Diggs. Do we have any second teamers? Yeah, Reese White, our running back. Deion Fountain at wide receiver. And nobody from the defense. But we, uh, I don't know, maybe we're looking to do some work here. So a little bit interesting to start the year. And now let's go through our recruiting. Uh, we have some more guys to scout. We found, what was it, nine busts and gems when we were scouting previously. Can we find some more guys here? Max Mountain goes up. We're trying to find a replacement quarterback for Grayson, but it's not working all too well. How about Mark Wilson? He's going to go down to a 67 overall, looking at a good fullback in Pete McPherson. He does go down to 67 as well. Jason Walker goes down. Dan Smith is a bust. Well, at least we continue to find those. <laughs> you know, Dan Smith immediately going to come off the board. Uh, Brian Moore stays at 67. Keith Ward is another gem up to 76 overall. That's a good looking corner. Decent coverage, but he's also pretty quick. Maybe could be a little bit better. Uh, they're a little bit stronger, but that's fine. Eric Perkins, the wide receiver, goes up. Steven Muhammad, another gem there at wide receiver. He's quick, 93 speed, 90 acceleration. He can kind of catch. He could be maybe a little bit better, but I guess if he's blowing guys away, that's fantastic as well. Uh, JJ Barber goes down to 65, and Will Newton, the last guy that we've scouted so far, goes down to 67 overall. And never mind, apparently there's four other guys to scout as well. Ken Martin. Goes down to 65. Mickey Davis, the outside linebacker, goes up to 69. Seems okay. Ernest Hayes goes down to 63. He's coming off the board. That's not good enough. And the last guy, Todd Parks, the defensive tackle, goes down to 68 overall. Now, there's only 30 guys on the board, so we will be replacing those. But first, we're going to go and just see. Uh, we're going to just take guys uh, away that uh, we don't think that we're going to have a chance with. And uh, hope for the best, I guess. 
we've gone ahead and found five more guys. Three corners, a free safety and a strong safety to look at. There's a gem in Maurice Robbins. He goes up to 80 overall at the corner spot. Tim Leak at 73 is another gem. Goes up to 78 overall. Bo Walden stays at 73. Aaron Johnson, the free safety, goes down to 68. Devin Robinson, the strong safety, will stay at 69. But all of those guys, definitely good enough to stay on the board. If we could pick up a couple of these really good players that we've found so far, it's going to be fantastic. And technically, our only team need at the moment is uh, corner. Like, uh, just looking at what we're losing, and we found some really good potential corners. A lot of them very quick. I think uh, my number one guy is Maurice Robbins. 96 speed at 96 acceleration. Pretty solid coverage. I mean, obviously, that's just going to get better. He's got good play recognition. Maybe weak on the tackling, but 96 speed and acceleration is incredible. But with the rest of the points that we have, we're going to go through. I'm going to look at kind of guys that we're really high up on and just give a ton of points to the ones that we have a lot of bonus points with just to see if we can jump out to an early lead. So that will be our current recruiting points distributed. And now we can finally go ahead and get into this game. They are updated as we are a 83 to their 91 overall. They've got a 91 offense, a 92 defense. Not going to be an easy game. Uh, we're at home, thankfully. Our first ACC game is at home. And uh, we're going to wear the black pants for this one. And NC State, thankfully, you know, kind of the reason that we went ACC is because the conference is already updated. Uh, let's see, what are their presets? They've got the Stealth Wolf, their Alternate 2, the Alternate 3, the Alternate 5. That's a lot. We're going to go Stealth Wolf just because it sounds cool and uh, I kind of like it. Our top players this year are going to be McCall, White, and Chaney, 90 down to 86 and 85 overall. So kind of a big drop off. But since our team overall is about the same, to me, that means that we have a little bit more depth this year. Um, and the top players for NC State, pretty solid 94 overall for uh, Z Knight, maybe Zach or something. The running back, I'm sure that he's going to run all over us. Outside linebacker at 90 overall and a wide receiver at 89. So a couple of threats for this NC State offense. But to start this season, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Conway. We can go ahead and see they're going to go with tails on the coin toss. That's good news for us, actually. And we're going to elect to kick this one off. I'm curious to see what the new kicker can do. With an 8 mile an hour tailwind, Frederick will not be able to get this one into the end zone. So it's going to be tough uh, on the special teams this year. And we won't be able to get a whole lot of field goals. Definitely not a 56 yarder. Uh, Zonovan Knight, interesting first name, is the name of this running back. So we're going to come out early, try the man coverage. First and 10. This looks like it's going to be a run out towards the edge. Steele, one of the newer players, uh, you know, starting. Got there first. And NC State wants to run the hurry up on us. Second and six, kind of expecting a pass. The tight end will come in motion. And it's going to be another handoff. We had the chance for a stop there. I think Shelton just missed the tackle and they get the first down. We'll try to get all this in. Uh, as on that first down, another broken tackle gives them 11 more yards. It's time to bring a little bit of uh, blitz with the safety as maybe they go to the air. No, it's going to be another handoff. Safety blitz was there, but I just missed. And Baker has his tackle broken. Oh my gosh, Knight is destroying us on the ground right now. This is rough. First and 10. Seeing what we can do. We've got Mackey, the true freshman. They're at linebacker coming in on the blitz. Got pressure on the quarterback who threw it away. And again, our tackling is non-existent right now. We were eventually able to knock the tight end out of bounds, but uh, we had to push him out of bounds. We couldn't get the, the tackle. This time the running back goes and Mackey, the true freshman, pulls him down. Loss of three, it's third and seven. So on this big third down, expecting them to go to the air, it will be a pass. And over the middle, they go to the running back. This man's going to carry their team to victory, if anything. 15 yards on that reception. Feeling like I can't do a thing right now to stop this offense. NC State really just doing the work. We brought the corner blitz. Uh, I guess it got some pressure, and they only got three yards on that first down. On this second down, trips to the left. They will hand it off again, and Shelton got there to stop the first down, but it's third and one. They've been able to pick these up easily. We're going to sell out to stop this one. 
Third and one, bringing a big safety blitz. They step back to pass, and it was dropped. We had the pick, but Steele couldn't hold on to it. We might still hold them to a field goal, though. And all things considered, the defense doing a decent job of holding, but, oh, we could have been running the other way with the ball right now. Maybe enough to score. The kick is good. So defense holds well enough to only give up three points on that opening drive of the season as Georgia opens up their game with a win against Arkansas. So Diggs no longer back to return. He's a, a lead blocker now. We'll see how he does for Reese White. And the running back, uh, well, maybe has some good moves, but not a whole lot of space to use him there. We're going to go to Reese again here, first and 10. And I did uh, change our substitution settings, so hopefully we see our backup running backs a little bit more frequently. But good six yards there. And on this season, Grayson might technically be a better passer, better passing stats and whatnot. But that doesn't mean that I am. Uh, so we're just going to continue to run this year. And Reese got enough for the first down there. Our first pass of this season is going to be this bubble screen. Got to get used to our receivers and Malden. Oh, no, that was a risky throw. He somehow broke a tackle and got three yards out of that. So we kind of got bailed out. That honestly could have been picked off. We'll put it back on the ground to Reese on this second down in the offensive line. Not doing a great job, but we're still able to pick up a yard as Reese fell forward. Third and six from the 45. We'll look to the air. This could be four down territory. And that's going to be an open bed good, but he couldn't hold on to it through the context of fourth and six. And I think we might go for this. I know that a punt isn't going to go very far. Um, and I have to trust the defense a little bit. So fourth and six, we'll see if the offense can stay on the field. Grayson outside the pocket waiting. I, I hit the wrong button and we get sacked to turnover on downs. Not how you want your first drive to go on the season, that's for sure. Trips right on this one as we're going to bring a blitz on first down, trying to disrupt what was most likely going to be a run, and they got 11 yards out of that. We rushed like nine on that play. The only hope for this defense right now in terms of the, you know, big game picture is that this running back just gets tired. Steel, nice job actually getting the tackle there, but still we gave up five yards. We've got a second and five to deal with now. We'll try to key in. Kind of felt like that was going to be a uh, a counter, but they go to the air. There's a broken tackle and 13 more yards given up. Diggs. Oh, it feels weird to user him on defense, but we'll see what he can do as we're bringing the blitz. This is going to be a run out towards the edge, and thankfully we get the tackle for loss, so maybe we can hold them to another field goal here. Second and 13, expecting the run. They do hand it off up the middle. Great blocking, and he's in. Oh, my gosh. We can't do anything to stop these guys right now. 15 yards on that carry. It felt like he was completely untouched, and we're going to go down two scores now. Well, Reese White at least gets another chance to return the ball, see what he can do for us. This ball going to be fielded at the two-yard line, and Diggs actually got us a decent block. Reese out across the 25, but... Uh, not much more. All right, we got to do something with the offense this drive. We're going to open up with a read option. See if we can get Grayson involved in the running game. And I didn't mean to do that. I th I dove, and any time you dive in this game, you fumble the ball. So we just get ball over. Oh, that is so, so stupid. This NC State offense hasn't had to do anything to get their field position. And it's so frustrating as they're just going to continue to run. For a ridiculous amount of yards. Uh, thankfully, only giving up one there, but I just don't feel comfortable now. We'll try the cover two and see if that helps on second and nine. And they're going to run the screen. Mackey at least slowed him down. I kind of thought there was a chance at a pick, but third and 14 now. Definitely expecting the pass on third down. They won't go back to the screen over the middle. We're going to be able to stop them and hold them to another field goal. So still will only be down two scores. And I think we're lucky for that. Kick is up. And it's short. So they don't have a great kicker either. And we didn't give up any points after the fumble. That's fantastic news. Looking at the line. The other freshman isn't playing it just yet. That right end. Uh, term Finch. 
But I'm sure that we'll see him at one point or at some point and Malden deep downfield comes down with the ball. <laughs> I just decided to throw up a four verts and it worked perfectly. Uh, finally, we have some decent field position. I think at this point, at the very least, I have to... Well, I, shoot. I, don't, I was going to say I, was, I would kick a field goal, but I'm not sure we're in field goal range. As Reese... Oh, I tried to bounce that to the edge, but lost all my momentum and lost three yards in the process. And that's going to be the end of a very, very uh, disappointing start to the season. A very disappointing first quarter of the season. We're down 10 nothing. We had a turnover on downs and a fumble. Defense hold them to a touchdown, a field goal, a field goal attempt, but... Uh, we got to figure some stuff out on the offensive side. When the AI is beating you, play the same game as them. Reese White on the slip screen. Second and 13 trying to wait. This is not going to go anywhere. Uh, positive four yards maybe. Back to the original line of scrimmage and it's third and long. See what we can do. I'm looking for Bedgood on that right side here on third down. And he's not open, but oh my gosh, he could have been. Just missed him, 4th and 10. I don't think that we can kick this. We're at the 23-yard line, and we aren't in field goal range yet, which is disappointing. Uh, trying to throw a timing route, and we throw a pick, so technically our third turnover of the game, and that's close to a pick six. Oh, my gosh. This is how the season's going to go. Well, let's hope for the best. First and 10. Defense at least isn't starting this drive in their own territories. Uh, Jordan Morris diving to get the deflection on what would have been a touchdown otherwise. Five wide now for this quarterback. So almost guaranteed that they will pass. And, oh, I saw this one, but just a little bit too late. So we give up seven, but we do get them in a third down. And this quarterback's going to be five wide again, so we expect the pass. Can we stop it over the middle? They go to it again, and I just couldn't get there in time. I went immediately, but I just couldn't get there, and it's the first down. It's stay five wide. They're really going for this. We're bringing a little bit of pressure on this one, and I've got a lot of guys. I had three guys to cover, and so of course I'm going to give up 15 yards. Switch to some man coverage because this is not working. They're marching down the field. Apparently their offense can do it all. And there's another big six yards. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. Feels like there's not a single thing that we can do as again, they will go to the air. And thankfully they only got a yard on that play just because the run or the wide receiver had to come back to the ball. The other thing that's just so frustrating is that they just continue to go with this hurry up. So it's like... We don't have a chance to get any subs, and of course an out route is wide open as it always will be against our defense, and they get 17 more yards. 12 of 14 for this quarterback. If they don't run this ball, I'm going to be so flabbergasted. A couple of running backs, a fullback in this formation. Mackey can't have the tackle as his broken. There's another broken tackle, and it's a first and goal. What the hell are we supposed to do right now? We are rushing eight men on plays like that, and it's still going well for them. Thankfully, we do it again, and we're actually able to get a stop, but it's second and goal, and this game is going so poorly. Finch, our other freshman. I was thinking he was an offensive line for some reason, but he's a uh, right end, and he's in. So both of our freshmen playing, which is nice, and we have him in the third and goal now. They're going to go with the hurry up. They're at the one. Five wide, though. Do I take the timeout? No. We're going to be real aggressive here and hope for the best. And over the middle. That's kind of on me. I had to guard the curl. 17-0. Are we going to score in this game is the real question at this point. So, Reese White back to return again. 317 left in the half. Oh, I'm just praying that something goes right on this drive because we haven't had it yet. There's a decent return opportunity for Reese, and we're going to start this drive from across midfield. That's good news. 63 yards total for our offense on three drives, I think. Maybe four drives. I don't know. It's not going well. Reese will get this handoff, and he's got a little bit of blocking, but it falls apart too soon. Lucky to get four yards on that play. Try to go to the air on second and six. The only saving grace uh, of this game so far is that we get the ball to start the third quarter, but we need to score points if we're going to have any chance. Reese getting 11 yards on the quick reception. And while Grayson might be improved this season, I think that so much of our offense is going to hinge on Reese White having a good season. 
trying to get the blocking kind of got the corner and hey he's got us 12 more yards there so maybe we just uh ride in his backpack all game long another read option attempt here on this first down grayson's going to keep it grayson has some blocking uh should have slid down but we got nine yards two minutes 15 seconds we'll see if we can find a quick slant over the middle maybe to get us this first and goal Yes, we'll hope so. There it is. Open Tyson Mobley. Get into the end zone. There we go. We finally get on the board with a touchdown. Back to a 10-point game, but the defense has to hold for these next two minutes. So Frederick this time will be kicking into that 8-mile-an-hour wind, which means that we can get it to the 5-yard line, which is maybe as good as we can hope for in this game right now. Broken tackles all over the place, and their return goes to the 35 we might just be going for onside kicks this entire season at this rate. Things are not looking good. It is on first down. They will go to the air. I didn't mean to be on Joel Hall, but we are anyways. The crossing route gets 16 yards. Another first down across midfield to the 45. They thankfully didn't go in the hurry up, so maybe burned a little bit of clock. But now they hand the ball off. Two broken tackles. Three broken tackles. We are literally on conservative tackling. This is so ridiculous. What the heck am I supposed to do to stop the the running back here? He's so incredibly good as the quarterback thankfully threw that one away. It looked like maybe it was going to be a screen, but uh, we get a little bit of a breather. Unfortunately, I think a breather is all that we can hope for as on second and 10, they will go to the air. And there's a man wide open inside the five, but he was out of bounds. Oh, did he not get a foot down? We got lucky again there. The refs aren't going to look at it, so I guess... They had a uh, better eyesight than I did on that play. Uh, quad receivers to the left. Only one to the right. As over the middle, maybe a guy? No. A little curl right there at the uh, goal line. And he gets in. Wow. This is the best offense we will ever face, apparently. It's 24-7, to and we will never kick them the ball again. Only onside kicks. Uh, it's not worth it otherwise. Reese needs to give us... Decent field position. Uh, maybe great field position. Reese. The guys are d missing their diving tackles. We're starting this one at the 35. Oh, goodness. At least we're somewhat winning the special teams game, but we have like three turnovers already. We need to score points, and we need to score them quick. So we're going to go for vert on this first down. That might be a touchdown. Wide open in the end zone. Fountain, it was overthrown. Oh, I hit the button just, I guess, a little bit too late, and we lose a touchdown. We could go back to it. Instead, we're going to go with the bubble screen to Malden, and he's probably going to lose a bunch of yards there. Yeah, loss of a yard. In it to go. It's third and 11. This game is atrocious from this offense. Third and 11, 45 seconds to play. I just threw a pick. Terrible, terrible throw. He's, of course, going to break the tackle, and I think they're going to score again, honestly. This might be the worst possible start to our time here in the ACC that we could have ever hoped for. They're going to go to the air. Quarterback's actually going to scramble. I have to try to strip the ball from him. Any opportunity we get to force a turnover, we need to take. NC State took their first time out after that one, though. 33 seconds. They did get the first down. And the quarterback's going to scramble again. Falling to the ground, still trying to rip the ball out. They take their second timeout. They're definitely trying to score. They definitely smell the blood in the water. Um, their killer instinct. Too much for us right now. Quarterback scrambling again. And, well, I'm tempted to take the timeout, but I don't think it's worth it. Third and three, 13 seconds. If they get the playoff or if we get the stop, we'll take a timeout. But this might just be a Hail Mary. They're going to go to the air. There is an out route wide open. Three, two seconds left. They get out of bounds, so we're going to see a last ditch heave to the end zone. If they manage to score on this play, I'm going to lose my mind. Final play of the half. We're already down three scores, and look at that. Another dropped pick. We can't hold on to anything. And now we get to go to the locker room with our tail between our legs. 24 to 7. Uh, atrocious. It's the only word that can sum up that first half. At least we have had some good special teams play for the most part. We need that to continue if we're going to have any chance in this one. And no, 
Starting the drive at the 20. Not what we needed. I would say that we can come out and run our offense, but we don't have one at the moment. So we'll just try to figure out if anything works. Uh, Grayson getting nothing on the read option to start the half. It's wishful thinking, but I really hope that NC State comes out and win the national championship because at least we'll have an excuse for this performance. We're trying the toss, and it's going to lose yards. It's third and a mile again. Oh, my gosh. Nothing is working right now. This team clearly not prepared for the season. Maybe something can be strung together as... Uh, oh, my gosh. What, uh, what the hell is happening there? Nobody... Like, how is he just going to stand in front of me with a man there and not try to get open? We have literally no other choice but to punt this one away. And it's going to be an absolutely terrible punt, but maybe we can cheese it past the return man. This needs to hit the ground. I don't think it's going to. So he fields it, and they'll start this drive at the 35, and we're about to go down on another score. Zero chance the defense gets a stop here. We're taking an absolute beating. I just don't see how it's going to stop. Uh, I might have been offside there as well. So this is a free play for him. Oh, wow. That is demoralizing. Gave them a free five yards on a play where we stopped him at the line of scrimmage. And I'm going to say, screw it. We're bringing the house. Try to stop the run. And they're going to go play action. They have to have a guy in the end zone. Uh, a block. Oh my gosh, Reed just got destroyed. Yep, there's the touchdown. Oh, wow. I, at this point, don't think that we have enough time to come back, even if we played perfectly. 31-7, to just getting manhandled right now. It's going to be a lot of desperation plays for me, so I apologize if I throw another couple of interceptions. Reese, oh, that was an unnecessary spin, but at least he got past the 25. And this offense has just over 100 yards on the game. Two interceptions, a fumble, and a turnover on downs. You, you don't win games with stats like that. Reese trying to do something gets 12 yards. We got to be in the hurry up the rest of the game. We have pretty much no other choice. We are in the goal line, though, so maybe a little bit different or difficult. But uh, at least we're picking up yards for the first time. Second and five, we're going to run a verts. And I'm trying to scan. I'm not really seeing anybody open except for Bedgood. Oh my gosh, thankfully the late slant throw works out. And we're just going to have to hope that something breaks down in their coverage. Looks like they're maybe bringing some pressure. Yeah, a little safety blitz. And I hit the wrong button or I hit it, didn't hit it late enough. We had our square and our circle wide open. But I, instead I lose nine yards on that sack. Two guys absolutely wide open we still couldn't find it oh second and 19 they're bringing pressure trying to throw the little comeback oh my gosh bad good got us the first down that is so fortunate try to get them here on the play action again i'm going to be looking for bad good on that little curl he's open again oh my gosh just barely but he held on to it that time we'll just continue to hope that this onslaught gives us a chance in the game Second and three over the middle. We've got a quick one to Tyson Mobley just to stop the clock and get the first down. Play action here. Kind of looking for Tyson Mobley. I didn't mean to throw it that way. And that one uh, bounces around and eventually hits the ground. That could have been our third pick of the game. I didn't really mean to throw off balance. And uh, it actually might have worked better because I think if I threw it normally, that one would have been picked. Instead, second and ten. We'll run the read and Reese can get us a decent chunk of the yardage. For a third and five. We'll need to go to the air here. And that's... I, he's, they're not running their outs. I'm expecting them to. Fourth and five. We got to go for it. This is game if we don't get it. The game is telling me kick the field goal. But there's zero chance that kicking the field goal works in this spot. So we will just go back to pass. I'm going to get outside the pocket and throw it. And Timo <laughs> Fountain caught that. Oh my gosh, there's zero chance that that should have been a touchdown. And somehow, we find the end zone, Dion, with one hell of a catch. And we're going to go for two here. Two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Again, we're going to be rolling outside the pocket. Almost certainly no. Mom, wide open. So, 15 to 31. We might not be out of this. We just need uh, the defense to get a stop or for an onside kick or two to work. Unfortunately, Frederick is new to the kicking game on this team, so who knows how these will bounce. 
It actually wasn't a terrible bounce. It was obviously a little bit short. Um, but the penalty might actually help us. It's a, a little bit of a glitch in this game, but uh, illegal touching will send it back to the 35-yard line. So, and the, or the AI always accepts it. So, at the end of the day, we actually don't give them that crazy of uh, field position. And we got a chance to recover an onside kick, so it was almost assuredly worth it. They're probably going to be doing a lot of running, as they just need to burn the clock, and hopefully the defense can get a stop. Hopefully we don't have to give up field goals. Second and five. I'm going to use her Sydney McRae on this play. They're bringing the tight end over again. And they step back to pass. Sydney can't do anything. Quarterback has a man wide open. And trying to strip the ball. I can't. We do get the tackle, but they get 21 yards, and they're closing in on field goal range again. I'm just going to continue to blitz and continue to bring pressure with our defensive ends because I know that they want to continue to run this ball. Um, My gosh, this running back is too strong, and he just scored... How many tackles is that that he's broken this game? 20, maybe? 39 yards on the carry for Zonovan Knight, and this game is its out of reach. If the defense is unable to keep these guys out of the end zone for five plays, there's nothing that we can do to stop them. Uh, it's going to take uh, an absolute miracle to get back into this game. Reese, trying to do what he can, gave us decent field position, but we have to be scoring instantly on these drives. First and 10, it's time for a play action pass. And there's a quick throw to Dion Fountain for some positive yards. And we'll just continue to hope that the passing game can work. Maybe their secondary will get tired. Uh, lucky not to throw a pick there. Malden has us across midfield. We'll just keep looking to the air. They're bringing a safety blitz. I'm going to get outside the pocket. There's our triangle. Mobley couldn't hold on through the contact. Good adjustment from that linebacker. They have 370 yards to our 198. That's pretty rough. Uh, over the middle, we've got Reese White. That's enough for another first down. So every time we do that, at least it stops the clock for us. And on this first down with a minute and 20 left in the third quarter, we'll try the read option. Reese getting the carry. The blitz stops the play. Dead in its tracks, though. And we're going to go verts on second and 12. Circle, maybe. It's going to be a tough one. Bad good. No, the ball is thrown out of bounds. Never had a chance. Third and 12. Grayson's supposed to be an improved passer, but I'm not seeing it yet. Third and 12. Can't get the pass off. Again, we take another sack, and again, we've got to go for it on fourth and a mile. So we got to go for this. We literally have no other chance or choice, uh, and it's going to be another verts, and I'm praying that somebody gets open and that we don't take a stupid sack. Uh, I'm heaving it up. This is not going to go well. Yep, there's the arm punt. Maybe uh, maybe the best case scenario is at least now they are only at the 11. Gosh, this is the worst game I have ever played. I'm not having a good time right now. 38 to 15. Just absolutely destroyed on this game. We're going to rush nine. Kind of expecting a run. And they go back to pass, and Morris saves the touchdown. I don't know if that actually helps us or not, though. We might as well let them score. It's a shame. We dial up the massive blitz, and of course, they decide to throw. <laughs> another run, another three yards, no problem. And that's going to be us going into the fourth quarter. Down about a million. Uh, it, if we come back, uh, you better believe this game's going to get clickbaited. Second and seven now. Motion from the tight end. They will step back to pass. And again, just wide open guys. No matter what they do, somebody's either open or breaking a tackle after we should have had a stop. So our defense is not going to be good this year. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to get a stop all the season long. Thankfully, when you rush eight people, eventually something good has to happen. They have 170 rushing yards, though. What will we see here? We have to get them off the field. Yep, the curl routes will always be wide open against our defense. Our players just can't defend it. And it's another first down as they're nearing field goal range to extend their lead even more. Because we certainly aren't going to close it in. They should expect the blitz. The question is, will they pass? No. They fall right into the trap. But, I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. They should just be burning clock because we won't have the time uh, to come back if they do that. I am expecting to see an out route be wide open. There it is. 
Thank goodness he went out of bounds. Third and eight. I don't know why they're still passing as much as they are. Uh, but on third and eight, they will go to the air. And they go out of bounds again. They're doing us too many favors. The defense got to stop because they ran out of bounds. That's not because the defense was good. Fourth and seven. They've already missed one of these field goals. The clock is ticking. Let's see. They do snap it pretty early for us. And this one donked off the post. Oh, thank goodness they missed another one. It's not really going to help us, but at least it doesn't make us look as bad. So for us, it's time to continue to just pass and hope for the best. And uh, we'll probably not see a whole lot of good things. Bedgood ran into the safety as he made his cut. So he was open, but missed the ball. And on second 11, again, we'll step back to pass. And the late out route is probably picked off. Tyson Mobley, yeah, just sails over his head. We just can't execute. Zero for six on third downs in this game. I think we might be one for four on our fourth downs. So just nothing doing. Uh, wow, we did complete or convert a third down though, finally. It's a shame that it's happening midway into the fourth quarter. As the defense at this point might just be giving up. Dion Fountain. I can't moss him. I got to keep taking these shots because if we don't score quick, then what's the point? We just don't have the time to throw those short passes. So we got to continue to uh, throw deep balls and hope for the best. Crossing. Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit X. I hit square. What is that? Fifth pick of the game. Sixth turnover. Plus a turnover on down. Uh, I'm just done with this. This could not have been any worse. Uh, over the middle. Easy slant route open for eight yards. Uh, if only we could do that. There's zero reason why this should have been such an easy game for them, but uh, we're getting dusted and this is going to be, well, we're lucky it's not a touchdown, even though we did break the tackle because uh, we just cannot tackle these guys. It's actually impossible. I'm going to rip my freaking hair out, dude. Every single time we go to tackle them, they break it. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be the weakest wide receiver on the team and they're still going to break the tackle. We just can't do it. 35 or 25 of 31 for this quarterback now throwing. And on second and goal from the seven, we're going to bring a blitz. Expect this to go to the running back and expect him to score. Um, in the backfield, I miss one. He breaks a tackle from Shelton because why not? And he goes into the end zone. Why wouldn't he break the tackle from our uh, preseason All-American middle linebacker? I don't want to wave the white flag, but we're down four scores with less than four minutes to play. I just don't see how we can do this. Maybe we would have had a chance if uh, it was the start of the second half. But we just uh, can't seem to do anything. There is a wide open Dion Fountain. Nope, he dropped the ball. I honestly think that we would have fared better against... Uh, some 99 overall like Notre Dame or Georgia right now. Uh, this is, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Grayson now 50% on the day, but with his four picks, certainly not looking good. We'll try to run it here. Give Reese well, a chance, but again, they just are swarming to the ball and we're certainly not breaking any tackles. All I want is to score just to make this look a little bit more respectable. And just Grayson is missing guys so frequently. That one sailed over the receiver's head. And now we've got a third and seven. One of seven on these third downs today. Trying to pick another one up. No, the offensive line gives us zero time and we get sacked again. So, I mean, what are we supposed to do at this point? The defense has just obliterated us. We're going to go for it because we have nothing to lose at this point. Like, we have zero pride left, so what are we worried about? Bedgood should score on this play. Wow, he actually held on to it through the contact. That, that's a miracle. And we convert our second fourth down of the game. If you throw up enough four verts, you maybe eventually will score. That's the philosophy for the offense right here as Bedgood holds on to that one for a first and goal. I'm not sure it's going to happen, but we'll try to go to the air. Their defense isn't quite set. Grayson, I'm going to roll out to the right. And, oh my gosh. I got blocked by my own wide receiver trying to scramble for that one. 
Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. He just stood at the goal line and prevented us from scoring. Second and goal now. We're gonna take a sack, aren't we? Oh my gosh, having to throw that one away. This team is brain dead right now. <laughs> I am losing my mind. What of eight on third downs? This should be a conversion. If Grayson doesn't score there, I it would have been even worse. We get to 21 points. We're gonna go for two, of course. And on the two-point conversion, we'll go to the air. And if Reese holds on to it, yeah, we will convert. So at least we've converted twice on our uh, two-point conversions. But that's too little too late. Trying another onside kick. That was a good amount of power. Will Frederick put it in a good spot? No, it goes right into Houston's hands. That's going to be all she wrote. So we managed to break 20 points on the game. And that's all that we can say. It's going to be runs until this one ends. And I'm not sure I want to take the timeouts. Maybe they can just put us out of our, our misery. I'm actually going to bring pressure here. Why not? Try to stop them. Second and five. It is a handoff. Shelton had his tackle broken. <laughs> it's third and three. And for some reason, they came out in the hurry up on this play. So I don't know if it's wise of me to do this, but... We're going to bring the engage aid again. Are they just going to burn the clock down to two seconds from the hurry up? They are. That's incredibly rude. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we can time it. They actually went to the air. <laughs> Why? What do you have to prove, NC State? Run the dang ball. Oh, my gosh. The fans are booing them here. And I got to agree, that is that is low brow. Wow. NC State, uh, we have zero respect for you now. Zero class from these guys. They could have taken a knee and just let the game end. But now I'm going to hope that maybe we can injure one of their players. You don't play like that against me without getting a little bit of revenge. I just, I'm not dealing with it. So we're going to continue to throw, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just taking my timeouts. I'm going to make sure that they have to keep their players out on the field as long as possible. If you're going to treat me with disrespect, you're going to be met with the exact same thing, and uh, we'll just continue to throw. Dion Fountain wide open. Can't catch it in stride, but catches it almost enough to get into the end zone. Kind of had to spin, and hey, maybe we score again. Where was this earlier in the game? This is disappointing that it's taken so long. Kind of looking for Dion Fountain again. As he's going to be not open. God dang it. I guess they get the last laugh on this one too. There's a chance that if I throw that shorter and allow Dion to come back to it, it's fine. Now they finally go into the victory formation like there's some classy team. Uh, and you know what? Screw them. We're taking our timeouts. I have zero respect for this NC State team right now, so uh, I think we have a, a new rival. And the next time we play them, we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that they get obliterated. If we're in a position to win it 100-0, you better believe I will make the game last as long as I possibly can to do exactly that. It's not how we wanted to open up this season, but it's how it has happened. It's an embarrassing loss at home. We've got growing pains to go through. Uh, hopefully we can bounce back. That's, you don't want to start the season with a loss. You especially don't want to start it with an in-conference loss. But uh, it, we just got to put this one behind us and hope to just improve for the rest of the season. If we avoid the turnovers, it's a closer game. And if we could learn how to tackle, uh, it would be a little bit closer as well. So we get absolutely embarrassed. Held to 40 rushing yards, six turnovers, beaten badly uh definitely licking our wounds after that one don't really want to look at player of the game because we don't really have any charles Steele, i guess had two tackles for loss woohoo um but we just well we got to move on nc state has uh earned their spot on the revenge tour that will happen sooner rather than later i hope but we will advance 0-1 to our second conference game they really threw us into the fire here with this schedule uh, against Pitt. And we just got to hope that next time out we can do a little bit better.
Well, one of our commits that we were interested in has Insta committed to Georgia, so that freaking sucks. Uh, and Chad Staggs, our defensive coordinator, level up. So I guess we had one singular positive thing happen uh, in the, the first week. But that's going to do it for us this episode. I, I've got nothing to say about what happened. We'll check uh, for some upsets in week one at the start of the next episode. Hopefully our recruiting this season goes well. It's off to a rocky start to begin with, although we have found a lot of busts and gems, so we're doing a great job scouting, guys. But as, as far as I'm concerned, we just got to throw this game out of our memories and just try to move forward here. And if somehow you've stuck around this long and uh, endured that punishment with me, well, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to do that. About 85% of the people watching this video will not be subscribed. So that's kind of a crazy number. And if you're watching these and you enjoy them, it means a lot. While you're down there hitting the subscribe button, you can go down to the description where you'll find links for our Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash goonmaster, where we play a lot of other non-NCA related gaming content. And there's also links for my Twitter and our community Discord as well as a link for the college football revamped mod if you're trying to get your hands on it yourself. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.